Well, welcome to worship at Covenant Presbyterian Church. In the name of Christ, who calls all to him and who turns no one away. And where today we gather together to remember and celebrate who we are and to whom we belong. Our liturgists today are Mae Chung and Teresa Northcutt, and Sue Raven will be lighting our Advent candle today. This year, Covenant Church has a traveling Advent wreath. That means that our Advent wreath will be going from family to family each Sunday, and that family will participate in the lighting of the Advent candles. Our music today is provided by Greg Jacobs, our music director. Now, you'll notice that we are, our service today is, is in Portalhurst Hall. This is, a, this is where our services used to be before the pandemic. And it's where our services will be when the pandemic is over. We will gather back here. But now, it sort of looks like a living room on, on Christmas Day. Books and toys and all sorts of stuff. And that's because Portalhurst Hall is used by Summergate School. Summergate School provides enrichment courses for elementary school students in San Francisco, as well as the uh, San Francisco Youth Chorus. And so we're sort of borrowing a little section of it to kind of feel back like we're back at home. And we encourage you to invite your friends and your family into this worship service by, by forwarding the email that you received to them. It's got, as you know, it's got the link to the, uh, to the YouTube service. And, and let us know, friends and family, that, that might want to join us on a regular basis. Now, you can download the Prayers of the People and we encourage you to post them someplace on your refrigerator or someplace around the house that'll remind you of, of these people and you can keep them in your prayers and your thoughts throughout the week. And these are, these are people that are, are people of uh, covenant want to, want to remember in our prayers. You can also download this week's Advent devotional that has a scripture, a reading, a devotional, and a prayer for each day of the week. So you can go, your family can kind of gather together and have a little service each day of the week. And this, this week, just like every week, we will have our Zoom fellowship hour at 11 a.m. on Wednesday. This week, we'll hear from uh, Sue Raven, and she'll tell us about her faith journey. And we'll visit, and we'll chat. On Tuesday, you'll receive an email inviting you to, uh, to join the, the Zoom fellowship hour. And we'll also invite you to uh, contact me if you've got any questions about how to get on Zoom or you're not new to Zoom or not quite sure how to do it. So it's, it's not as complicated as it, as it sounds. Now there are parts of the liturgy that you and I will be doing together and you and May and, and you and Teresa will be doing together. And your parts are indicated in bold. And now, as we say every Sunday, may the Spirit center us in God's love, enlighten us, and give us courage, wisdom, and joy. And now in the anticipation of meeting God, let's join in the call to worship. What have you come to see? We have come to see the light. The light of hope. The light of hope is here for you. God's hope shines. Through, the dark, through our darkness. Come, come worship the Lord of light and hope. Praise God for the breaking of light into our lives.
Let us pray. Lord of peace and hope, come to us this day in the midst of our growing darkness of sickness and death, of strife and war, bringing the light of hope to our lives. Keep our hearts and our minds alert to your presence. Give peace to our stressed spirits. In this spirit, in this season of Advent, prepare us to greet the one who will lift our burdens and change our lives forever. Amen.